back to another segment of the Tibby All Day Style Marathon. We're going to go to like 12 o'clock tonight. No, <laughs> Hard stop at six. Um, anyways, right now this segment is about color vibes. And we can talk about color all day and night. And it is one of the things I am the most proud of here is I really feel like we are absolute color experts. So I, you know, sometimes I wonder like, why is it that the customer loves this color wheel so much? Like it, it jumped off the book. It's a segment in the Creative Pragmatist book. And then Matt made it into like this little spinny wheel here. And it's one of our customers' favorite things to look at, talk about, and discuss. And the reason why I think is because this is very educational and it's very simple to learn. And when you do, it tends to unlock a lot of people's closets. So why don't, can you kind of do a walkthrough of like how to read the color wheel? Cause that's always the first question. Like, <laughs> why do I read the color wheel? Yeah. And before Jen gets into that, cause this is Jen from the store. She's one of our style experts. Um, remember color is important because we're not giving you an outfit idea. We are actually helping you come up with different ways to create different vibes in your closet. And if you can think back to when you've been the most frustrated when you've tried something on, it's not because you put it on and thought, I don't love this with this with this. It's because you put it on and you thought that you were going to feel a certain way and you didn't feel that way. And it's why you have an outfit that works so perfectly for one moment in your life and then you put it on again and you hope to replicate it and you can't because it's giving you a different vibe for a different time. So the color wheel helps you nail that vibe that you're going for every time. But there's a trick in how to use it. Yes. yes. So for starters, let's just take a little tour of the wheel. We have at the first ring, it's black, it's your true neutral. And then in ring two, we have all of your other neutrals, tanned, navy, um, et cetera, whites. Ring three is gonna be our highlight today, our focus of this segment, because this is the no color colors. So these are the colors that most people are finding difficulty with, and these are the ones that are really difficult to nail. When you see someone with just effortless style and you love something about their look and you can't quite pinpoint what it is, like it's yours? really, yes, yes, like mine. <laughs> it's like very that. often, thank you. <laughs> very often there's no color colors that are going to add the depth and dimension to your outfit, to your style that you're kind of skipping over in most instances. And that would bring us to ring four, which is all of your bright saturated colors and your pastel -y colors. Um, the ones that we talk about bigs and pigs with, which we'll go into that later. And Jen, one of the questions I get from a lot of people is, sometimes they'll send me something like this jacket and they'll say, I'm not sure, is this in ring two with the neutrals or is it ring three? And the way that you can really tell is, these are the ones that are hard to describe. Like this is easy, right? It's yeah. brown, it's tan, it's blue, it's white. But ring three, you really have to work for. You're going to call it sienna, pumpkin, ochre, all these weird Come color in. names. Nail, you know? nail polish names. Like, <laughs> yeah. if you can't put a quick word to it, it goes into ring three. Exactly. And so working off of ring three, this is really where you're going to add a lot of depth and dimension to your outfit. Um, so why don't we talk a little bit right now about what we are wearing and how yeah. we've kind of taken a tour through the rings in our outfits today. So I am tr wearing true ring two, in the sense that I've piled on neutrals. I'm wearing, I'm wearing the brown and the tropical wool max. I'm wearing the Wilt's nylon pull-on jogger in the brown as well. I'm wearing a true navy, and then I have brown, the brown alley sandal on as well. So I'm truly trying to represent that that ring two. This isn't where we have a lot of questions in the sense that we understand these neutrals, but it's a great place to live in the sense that like if you need a sense of like peace almost. You can pile on your neutrals again. I wanted to draw back to like how you're feeling where you're when you're wearing these colors because feelings, you know, colors evoke such a yeah. strong feeling within you. Yeah. Um, and so, like, essentially, that ring too is really those neutrals in the sense that again, pile them on. You can wear well, them all really together. Means. Yeah. You feel such peace when you get dressed and walk out of the house. And so, when I was saying throughout the Tivi Creative Pragmatist book, it really is a full learning process because it's not just as straightforward then as wearing all the colors in this range. It also is about the notion of one ton or none. Mm -hmm. So you literally have on none right yeah. now. So, so sorry. The well, I just want to say that, that the absolute definition of none 
is that I'm looking to you and my eye is landing exactly. actually just on you. Yeah. I see Patrick, I see your style. I'm not fixated on a jacket, a shirt, a shoe, or anything. But if you wanted to bring in one, the bag is a way to do that for sure. Or sometimes the neutral does work as a one because it is such a stark contrast to everything else that you have on. So you can see how that becomes one. Yep. And I just want to show you quickly what two is. So if you put the hat back yep. on, and then the bag here, now my eye, like I'm here and I'm here. And what happens is when your eye is bouncing around, I tend to lose the idea of the entire person, mm -hmm. right? It's a little bit unsettling and I lose Patrick and instead, I'm like, that guy's wearing a red bag, a jacket, and a hat. So I start to see the items. Is there a question? No, just so you Oh, know. you're just looking all weird. <laughs> okay. No, you're, you're five in. Okay, got it. Um, so that is the idea of one or none, and then we'll show you a ton later on. Absolutely. Cool. And then Jen, do you want to explain kind of like, you're obviously wearing ring three, the one we're going to kind of drive home today. Yes, exactly. So here I'm wearing a lot of those no color colors and I threw on a bunch of them to really show you guys. I have this slate blue um, bodysuit from last spring. I have on the brown variants and I have on the cumin summer drapey, um, drapey suiting Liam. And so these really are going to be those colors that have those strange names that don't live in an exact color family, but they really just have a lot of visual interest to them. And what you could see is that when you ground them with one of your ring two colors with your neutrals, you can just keep piling them on just to add, you know, more dimension, more interest, and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing eight different colors. Yeah, and what we find from people is that when Jen was saying that the ring three is what really like opens up people's world, what happens is in your closet, you're likely to have a navy pant and you're likely to have a white shirt, right? And, but what people don't realize is that by just bringing in something like this, it becomes real connective tissue for some of those pieces that they have in their closet that are constantly making them feel a little stark, mm -hmm. right? Like here, I'm wearing the white with the brown and that's what I'm leaning into, I'm leaning into the starkness. And that's great, but this is what I want at the moment. But if I wanna have a different vibe from this skirt, instead of thinking like a new outfit for this skirt, maybe I would put on like a really good, weird, neutral ring three item with it. And then that's gonna give me a different feeling. And then you can take it to another level with earrings as well. So like this is this kind of green crystally one and you're really just playing off of the colors here or you'll use like a brighter green or to play off of the blues. So Jen, if you move closer, like mm -hmm. when we talk about the toolboxes, having these different colors to play off and give you additional feeling is really great. And you guys know, um, please like follow Hannah at Hannah U Works. You guys all remember great Hannah, but she's doing some really beautiful things with earrings and they've got incredible colors and they'll really help you expand out that color wardrobe. And then I also want to just drop back again to the kind of the feeling that the ring three evokes in the sense that like we talk about friction and like the difference of fabric in that sense and like adding that different fabrication to add friction to your outfit. But I always feel like there's a sense of friction inside of me that I'm feeling sometimes when I when I'm actually like wearing these colors in the sense that like we call it icky in the sense that like I feel I feel that way when I'm dressed, but not in a bad way. It's a good icky. It's the good ick, if you will. <laughs> um, and then I want to like. Maybe we should, I want to well, kind of like... Bring out, let's bring out Kayla real quick. Yeah, come on, Kayla. On the, and guys, can someone grab me out of the T.O.P. closet? There's a size um, four in the brown, but it's got to be in the T.O.P. closet. Here's Thanks. Kayla. Hi. <laughs> so we wanted Kayla to come on here so that she could really highlight the idea of ton, the idea of wearing a lot of colors and colors that are kind of, you know, in dip, located on different places in the color wheel and how that can be an interesting way to mix and you can keep like adding on different yeah like you can really just go for it like if you were sarah brody you're like <laughs> if you are so full on and so the thing is like if you've got on all of this color here what you can see is i'm not just focused on one thing here it's kind of like 
I'm really focused on the fact that you've got this really interesting style. And what I want to point out here with color, which is key, and I just this breakthrough was so important for me as a designer, is color used to be a thing where someone said, okay, what kind of brand are you? And are you a brand that has color? And so therefore, if you have this color, might you be only Lily Pulitzer or someone like that? And the thing is, is I was always struggling because I'm like, you know, I really like the idea of color, but I'm not really a preppy person at all. And I'm not like one of those printed brands, but I really do like color. And so I really started trying to understand how is it that people are wearing color in a way that I find really stylish? Because what I realized is it comes down to key textures and how you've combined it. And you'll see that then when you see a runway show, if it's Margiela, Loewe, Balenciaga, all of those are brands that you think of as highly modern and conceptual, but they also have color. But none of those brands are sending down the runway a lovely pink silk wrap dress. There is always something very sculptural about the color, or it's something quite icky, or it's in something glossy, and then they put it together in a way that is like in your face, right? So this is so in the face yeah. in a good way. Thanks. So, and she wore this to work today and she was running out to lunch and we grabbed her, so appreciate it. Thanks, go enjoy lunch, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna slip this on real quick, just so I can. Um, Jen, do, I feel like we can essentially, I wanna kind of walk through a representation of items in those color wheels. Yeah. So, like, just so you guys get a sense of like, it's not just a navy pant, in, in that ring too. It's not just a brown, like a brown jacket or anything like that. So let's do these in the sense, like obviously I have the Stella on, so you're gonna have that, that neutral brown. And this is that you do have a little sheen to it, but you're gonna have that. Obviously we have like the tropical wool navy, which Jen, this is the balloon pan specifically. Mm -hmm. But then also you have this texture in like, Jen, I'll hand that to you. Yeah, the idea here is that even though Patrick is holding a whole fistful of all neutrals, you can see that they all, you know, can live together harmoniously, but they can still have different, they can still have friction to them. So you have this mm -hmm. nubby sweater in this texture, this charcoal color here, and then you have the acid wash jean, which really is a neutral. All denims kind of live in this category where they are something that you are going to fall back on all the time in, with your whites, with your grays, with your browns. But again, like like we pulled into that that nylon again, we get to play with kind of that texture play in that sense. But they still, again, live so harmoniously in your wardrobe. So just to kind of like give you guys a visual in the sense that these all are hanging together and how they live on the color wheel, that's going to be your ring to hold these. You want to take a couple? <laughs> okay. And then again, driving home that ring three. So again, these all live in that sense. Like, sorry, I'm gonna get really close because Byron's telling me to get closer and closer every time and I'm never close enough. And so these are all living harmoniously, but it gives that, again, it gives that almost that sense of friction. I, even holding them, looking at them, gives me a, a little bit of tension in my body, which I love in that sense. And none of these colors have a normal, like one word to put with them. Nope. So what happens is, is you slowly build up the ring threes in your closet. When you slowly build up these things, then when you have invested in the past in those bright colors, mm -hmm. all of a sudden it really like grounds them. So stay cool oh, yeah. the way that you were, Absolutely. if you don't mind. So all of a sudden then, like when you put this in, it becomes like very sophisticated and chic, but I'm gonna do a comparison. When you wear this together, it just takes on a bit of a different vibe. It Absolutely. becomes sweeter, it becomes colder, and it's really interesting in color. There's a um, old Dries Van Noten documentary that I love, and he got really into, Dries really got into doing all of these prints and colors this one season, and, and it was all looking great, and they had it all out on the floor. And then someone threw a pair of white pants in, into the middle of the mix, and he was like, Fuck, I hate all this color, get it out of here. I hate it, I hate it. Because it made it really stark and bright and it changed the whole vibe of everything. So really, if you are a person who's got bright colors that you've invested in and you haven't figured out how to wear them, mixing them up with these good neutrals like this is a way to wear them in your closet. So when you buy into these strange colors, 
one strange color t-shirt is probably going to give you 30 new outfits mm -hmm. in your closet that you've never thought of putting together before. And so another thing that happens with the color wheel, do, did we talk about ring jumping? Not quite. So when you go, each ring that you mix in, the further out you go, the more dramatic the contrast and the more bold the statement is going to be. So I'm wearing the browns here, right? These dark browns and this. So you can see this is like with the bright red, it's a nice, interesting pop to it. But if you're wearing all black and you put in the red, you've made a big jump here. And this isn't to say that the big jump is bad at all, but it's to say that the bigger the jump, the more stronger or aggressive the color combination is going to be, and the more stronger and aggressive you'll feel. And we've been in the mood for that last year resort. We did a lot of black and red together. It's just a vibe, but it really helps you understand what the outcome is in your closet. It's kind of like playing smarter. So really like what you wanna do is pay attention to the feeling that all of these things are giving you. And I know a red here is far out on the color wheel for us, but I will say for some reason at Tibby, and maybe it's because we're so grounded in the classics, but red is such a great neutral for us. And I think the reason why it's such a good neutral is that it is the color that um, I think because we've got all these browns and ickiness, like I love it, right? But you do feel like you want to have a pop of something sometimes. So that's why like having this red just like really gives that good energy. And then I love it here with the sock and then the green sandal. What you got going on? I'm playing with ring four again, okay. just to kind of talk about, pull some shoes into yeah. it in the sense. So I like to like, again, this would be considered a ton in mm -hmm. the sense that you've got all these colors, you're kind of bouncing from one to the other, yep. but I, it's really this great play on fabrication. Um, and then I love this orange boot, but I also want to pull it right back. So like, say that's, so you're wearing this, you have this, you're wearing that boot, but then you pull it. Whoop. Man, that skirt, it's gonna get me every time. That's a heavy skirt. <laughs> Not as heavy as these earrings, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love Phoebe Philo, Celine, but fuck, man. Like, these things oh, weigh a yeah. thousand pounds. Yeah. My oh. lobes are going to be down to, like, my hip bone. <laughs> what the hell's up with that? Too like, she, she must have, like, iron lobes. But I like, again, if you're pulling back into that ring three, that boot takes you from Gosh, giving you a ton, and then it literally goes into your ring three colors, and it is able to ground an outfit and really solidify that outfit in a way. So what I wanna really leave you here with is, think about the color wheel as something that is really instructional and that will help you build out the right tools in your closet to create the vibe that you want. So for instance, like this boot here, it's in one of those absolutely nondescript mm -hmm. ring three colors. And we did it in this glossy shine. So every time I put on something that like is all black, and I wanna draw my eye into one place and give some interest, this is what I'm gonna pull out. If I had a big ass like lime green, hot pink dress or whatever, this is what I would pull out to ground it down. So really think of things as tools in your closet. So don't think so much about falling in love with the fact that it happens to be the most wearable boot in the whole world that's gonna look chic and fabulous on you. Don't focus on that. <laughs> <laughs> don't focus on how amazing it is but focus on the fact that number one does it solve a lot of problems for you mm -hmm. and then if you think about the tools in your toolbox as problem solvers then what you realize is that as you are looking to add to your toolbox if you already have that problem solved for then you don't need to solve for it again um, wait before I go someone was asking about the skirt that I'm wearing do we know what skirt I'm wearing? The jet suiting. It's the jet suiting pleated wrap skirt. Okay, so this is a jet suiting pleated wrap skirt. Um, someone had asked, is it similar to the other wrap body that you guys had last year in the cotton poplin? Um, it's a little similar in theory, but what's different is that this is done at a starburst. So it really, it is angling in here. It almost reads like something that would be on the bias. You can see how it's hugging the side a little bit more and leaning in. And then this is cut on the straight and then you've got the belt detail. And I wanna show you where this is supposed to hit because 
inevitably, I am sure some questions. website or someone, what they do is they sometimes hike it up because they can't imagine that I meant to leave the gap there. And so you can do that if you want, um, but this is the intended look on it. And this weight of this fabric, it's going to feel a little bit like our tropical wool. So it's something that um, I always had to jump the gun on what I wore because I have an October birthday, but I grew up on an island. So that meant that I would take like the biggest wintry outfit that I got because that was the only time of year I got new clothes. And then I would wear it and it was still so freaking hot. So I would like sweat my ass off. Um, so I don't want anyone to have to sweat their ass off. Um, but if I didn't want to sweat my ass off, but I did want to jump the gun on this a bit, I would just wear this with like a little tank top mm -hmm. and a pair of sandals. Yeah. Questions? Okay. Book. So very quickly in the book, this is your whole section on the color. And in this section, we color cover the color. How do our prints? Prints are part of that. I'm not going to do a whole segment on prints because I don't really do enough prints to warrant that. But prints fall under the same guideline that we talked about when they are sculptural, icky, or glossy, that's when they tend to take on the most interest. And if you send to me a beautiful, soft, silk, bright red leopard blouse, well, there's probably little I can do, unless you tell me that it was your grandmother's, and then I'm like, oh, probably you should cut it up, put it in a frame, though. But anyways. Amy, and on prints, saying, yes. um, you're actually wearing a printed skirt right now, so just to speak to that a little yeah. bit, there is such a thing as um like no print no print, print. print yeah so just to bring that into the conversation a little bit yeah things like this that are those kind of muddled neutral colors mm -hmm. those are you know dark colors that don't have super high contrast with each other they can totally play into this color wheel just as if they were a flat color itself and just yeah. add a little bit more interest yeah the no print prints are key thanks for that because it does add interest and it adds interest because it has depth and i think that whether we realize it or not when our clothing has depth, you you look like a person who has more depth, right? And I think you probably look like a person who has more depth because you immediately feel like you have more depth. So the way that you are on the outside is really inextricably linked with the inside. And that is not some fluffy, bullshit, superficial thing because you do have three ways to communicate. And so your words, your actions, and your visuals. So this is fully one third of your communication tools about who you are. So it is absolutely not frivolous. Don't let anyone convince you of that. Um, okay, so that is the end of our segment on color. We are going to make the color wheel available as an individual thing. It's just that the first prototype came in and we kind of sucked and we <laughs> don't want it to, it did suck. Can I not can't say that? People, like, can't lie to the people. Yeah, so but, but Matt, because Matt's proto was so good. <laughs> we want you guys, I mean, this is like, how do you top this, Stella? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Stella. Um, anyway, you know it sucked. We can say that. Okay, so we've got the next segment coming up. We're going to take a 10 minute break and then we will be back for some really good conversation. And a um, guest. more. Yeah, oh. Ooh, special special guest. glass. Special guest. Glass. glass. Same thing. Both of them. Bye, guys.